I'm here with Dr. Shoshana Garfield. Can you describe some of the treatments for PTSD? Gladly. Within the context of understanding that trauma is, is an emotional, mental, spiritual, and physical issue. And so trauma is in the body. It has to do with meaning making. And it has to do with the meaning we make of our everyday lives and of connection to things that are bigger than us. And of course, how we feel about the incident. So with that said, there are so many different therapies and treatments out there for PTSD. There's traditional sorts of talking psychotherapy, which can meet the kind of meaning-making stuff but doesn't get to the body and, and often eliminates the spiritual aspect as well. There's exposure desensitization treatments, and that is asking someone to relive the moment over and over and over and over and over again. And it can be effective with a, with a, a certain percentage, but for others it's actually would be more aptly named as re-traumatization therapy. And the thing is, you don't know before you get in there what category you would fall into. So I would approach that one very cautiously. Uh, the next one uh, that a lot of people do is cognitive behavioral therapy. And cognitive behavioral therapy works at the level of what's called the structure of thought. You look at the way you're thinking about something and you empower yourself to very consciously intervene in that and you can make massive wonderful changes. The, and a lot of people get a lot of benefit out of CBT. The thing about CBT, of course, that it shares with traditional psychotherapy, being mainly a talking therapy, and it doesn't really encompass the totality of what the traumas that led to the PTSDs actually literally embody. There's more casual kinds of treatments. There's the stuff you don't pay for, like bitching with your friends. The problem with that is that your friends often don't have the kind of the expertise and understanding to really help you move on from it. Friends can often offer you a lot of empathy, which can be very needed, and, and a place where you can share what happened and be witnessed. And that witnessing is very important and common to all the therapies and all the treatments, but is often not enough on its own. If it's advanced to PTSD, you need something more than hanging out with your friends. Uh, another one are what I think of as the more body-related therapies, and that is split into two main categories. One is the one with a verbal element and the ones without a verbal element. The ones without a verbal element are things like massage, for instance, acupuncture, and things like that. And again, that can encompass some of what has trapped the trauma in the body. It has that body element in there but it doesn't encompass the meaning aspect of it. So it's, it's incomplete as a standalone. And another would be the more energy-based modalities that include verbal elements as well as the body. And those, that's where I do most of my own work in relieving trauma and PTSD. And there are so many different modalities out there. Uh, the one that I really like to use myself is something called emotional freedom technique or, or tapping. And you may have seen people like Paul McKenna do that on telly. And, but there are so many others as well, like thought field therapy. There's uh, even things like Ho'oponopono, theta DNA healing, uh, tapas acupressure technique. The list goes on and on and on. Vortex healing. The thing is that whatever you choose, Choose someone who's properly qualified and has experience actually working with post-traumatic stress disorder and really gets it deeply.